Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a collective haul. So you will see beside me here, I have quite a few pieces to show you. I've been collecting lots of lovely autumn bits. I love autumn, it's my favourite season for fashion and I've got so many nice pieces to show you so I'm very excited. We have bits of Mango, Zara, Weekday, Fourth and Reckless, so many nice pieces and yeah, it's going to be quite a big haul I think. But first of all, I'm going to start off with some new jewellery from my favourites at Monica Vinader. They have very kindly sent me their new 14 karat solid gold and diamonds collection which actually launches today. So I'm so excited to share these pieces with you guys. Every time I do a little Monica Vinader haul, I always get so many lovely comments about the pieces that I show. So I know you guys love them. You can still use my discount code, which is amybeth20, and that will get you 20% off the site, which is such an amazing saving. Normally these kind of discounts aren't as much as 20% off. So that is such a great saving. We've also got Christmas coming up. Is it too early to say that? So if you are thinking of purchasing a lovely gift for someone, then my code could get you a lovely little saving. So I will leave that information in the description box along with links to all the beautiful pieces that I'm about to show you. So as I said, this is the new 14 karat solid gold and diamonds collection which is launching today on their website. And you know me, I love simple, beautiful, classic jewellery. And these pieces are incredible. When I unboxed them, I just was kind of a bit in shock because of how beautiful and stunning they are. Such gorgeous classic items that anyone would love suitable for any age, any occasion, any time of year. The first piece I have to show you is this necklace. And this is the Diamond Marquise chain necklace. And as you can see, it's on a super thin adjustable chain. And then this beautiful little drop diamond on the bottom. I just absolutely adore this. So as always, I'm gonna pop this on now. The other thing I love about this necklace is the pendant doesn't move. So you're not gonna get, you know, when the hook kind of moves itself around to the front, which does happen on a lot of pendant necklaces, you are not gonna get that with this one. It's gonna stay put and look beautiful all the time, which I think is such a nice touch. So I am a huge fan of a dainty chain and this is just stunning. I don't think you need anything else with this it just stands alone perfectly it's such a gorgeous piece i feel like my mum i think i say this every single time we do a modern community haul fluff there i think my mum would love this so maybe i might get it for her for christmas so i have two more bits from this gorgeous collection to show you i'm also still wearing my bangle which i never take off this is the signature thin bangle which I absolutely adore and I've also got on this beautiful stacked ring that I picked up in my last order. Speaking of rings, I have another one here to show you. This is the Diamond Marquise stacking ring. As you can see it matches the necklace with that gorgeous, subtle, beautifully shaped diamond. A nice gold thin band as well which is stunning. Now this fits on both my index and my middle finger, but I'm going to go for the middle finger. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at the way that that diamond shines. And much like the necklace, I don't think you need anything else with this ring. Just looks beautiful on its own. Excuse my nails by the way, I am going to paint them, but I am going to film it. So I thought I would do it another day. So they're looking a little bit gross at the moment, but the jewellery looks wonderful at least. And my final piece from this gorgeous collection is a pair of earrings. So I have three holes in my ears. I actually have two um, earrings in from Monica Village at the moment. Just zoom in so you can see them a little bit better. In my third hole here, this is actually the earring that I got my ear pierced with because I got it pierced at Monica Village. And that is a gorgeous diamond stud as well. And then I have a little gold hoop huggy. And then in my first hole, I'm going to put this beautiful stud. And as you can see, matches the ring and the necklace beautifully. And that just finishes off my ears so nicely. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous stud. I don't often wear studs. I normally go for um, like huggy hoops like this one, but I think a mixture of the two looks really, really nice. So those are the stunning Monica Villager pieces that I have to show you. 
I absolutely adore this collection. This is not the whole collection. There are a few other beautiful pieces as well. So definitely go and check them out. I personally think that these pieces are so wearable during the day. I would understand maybe if some people want to keep them for special occasions, but especially a necklace like this, that is something that I would wear day to day and never take off. I just think it's such a special piece. It's gonna look gorgeous with any outfit so you could definitely wear it day to day you could also dress it up as well with a nice evening dress or a v-neck blouse or something but yeah absolutely adore this collection like i said don't forget to use my code if you want to shop at amybeth20 for 20 percent off which is such a good saving and all these pieces are 14 karat solid gold and ethically sourced diamonds which is just amazing so i hope you guys love them as much as i do i will link all the pieces i've shown in the description box for you and now i'm going to get on with showing you the clothing items that i have because there are quite a lot. Okay, so first up, I have a few pieces from Zara that I want to show you. I have done a little Zara order, but it's not really big enough to do just a whole Zara haul. So I filmed a reel over on Instagram, but I thought that I would share these pieces on YouTube as well because I absolutely love them. Even though this was a small order, I love everything. I'm keeping everything. And I think it's got to be my favorite one of the season so far. So first up, is this stripy jumper. Um, it's a quarter zip and it's black with cream stripes across the front, horizontal stripes, obviously. But I love the way this jumper fits. I got it in a size medium, so it's slightly oversized. And getting hold of a striped jumper recently has been a mission um, because stripes are so on trend this autumn every single like nice striped jumper that i could find was sold out in my size and then i came across this one on zara and i picked it up straight away i have worn this so much it's such a lovely comfortable piece it's the kind of thing as well that sometimes i would look at and go mm, that's a bit plain i don't really need that in my wardrobe but actually it's something that i will reach for all the time um and that is definitely the case with this i have worn it so much without even realizing how much wear i would get out of it it works so nicely with jeans you can really dress it down with trainers as well you can also dress it up with trousers and heel boots i've worn this so many times with my black white leg trousers and my veggie trainers and it just works so perfectly i've also worn it with knee-high boots and a skirt and a blazer such a versatile piece so comfortable really good quality as well just love it next up from zara is this gilet and i adore this i saw this on someone on instagram i cannot remember who for the life of me now and as soon as i saw it i thought i have to have that it's all shirling on the inside and then it's this gorgeous kind of like a brown suede on the front and i adore this i got it in a size extra small because it already comes up big um i think it's sold out at the moment but obviously i'll leave it linked down below so you can check the code um, and see if you have it in store or maybe it might come back in stock I don't know but I absolutely love this it looks so good over an all-black outfit again this is something that looks great with knee-high boots and a skirt but also you can just pop it on with like a white basic blue jeans white trainers I feel like again this is something I'm going to get so much wear out of I haven't been able to wear it that much yet because it's still been quite warm I did wear it once and I got a little bit too hot in it um so I think this is something that I'm going to be saving for maybe next month when it gets a little bit cooler and I can wear it without overheating because it's like shielding on the whole of the inside it keeps you very very warm this is going to be great for layering as well. I can imagine this on a cold day with a black jumper underneath, black beanie, some welly boots for a nice walk. So I'm very excited to wear this. Next from Zara, something that I waited so long for. Um, this jacket I had my eye on for ages and I didn't buy it quick enough and it went out of stock on Zara quite quickly and I literally checked every single day waiting for this to come back into stock and it did and I got my hands on it finally. Um, it's no longer online, I can't find it online. Um, when I click on the link from where I bought it, it just says unavailable. So um, I've left the code in the description box in case you can find it in store. I got a size small and it fits really nicely. It's a nice kind of fitted look and I absolutely love this. These kind of jackets are so on trend at the moment. And this one I think is beautiful. It looks so designer inspired. It looks really expensive. And I love dressing something like this down as well. I have worn this with blue denim and trainers. Also it looks great dressed up as well with like black wide leg trousers and heel boots. Such a versatile piece and so smart. I love it. So next up from Zara, I actually purchased something that I am going to wear for 
um, one of my birthday celebrations. My birthday is not until December, so it's still kind of like a month and a half away, but I always struggle with trying to find a nice outfit, and I think when I find something, I should just buy it and keep it um, for an occasion. So that is what I've done. So the first part is this cute little cream skirt. It's kind of like a tweed material and um, I got this in an extra small and it fits really really nicely it's not too short either which is what I was worried about it's not see-through um, and it was only $25.99 so quite affordable but I just love this I thought it was really cute I'm going to wear it obviously with what I've chosen here and I'll show you that in a second but I also think this will look really nice with like maybe an all black outfit some knee high boots black bodysuit black blazer it's just a very cute little skirt so pleased with that um, and I'm so happy that it fits really nicely because I never know with Zara at the moment. I then purchased to go with it this lovely little cream jacket. Again, it's got kind of like those similar buttons to um, the white jacket that I just showed. Funny story actually, one of them has already fallen off. I've not even worn this yet and it came straight off. So I'm going to have to do some DIY sewing and sew that back on myself. Not ideal, but that's Zara for you. Um, but yeah, I love this jacket. I thought it's going to look so nice with the skirt and some cream knee-high boots. I'm going to the Savoy for dinner for my birthday, so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, and I thought this would be a very kind of like Christmassy, cute outfit for that. Um, this jacket I got in a size small and it's a perfect size because it comes up a little bit oversized already. And this kind of thing I think is so good because I can wear this casually as well. I imagine this with some maybe like black leggings and some black chunky boots. I think it'll make a really cute look dressed down. I could also wear it with blue denim as well. I just need to find a nice top to go underneath it. Um, I'm thinking maybe like something like white and fluffy to go underneath it. So I will have a look, but this was 55 99 So quite a good price, I think, um, apart from the fact that the button has fallen off. Next up, I have a pair of jeans to show you, and these are my favorite jeans in the whole entire world. I already had a pair of these that I have in a larger size, um, which I got probably about a year ago, maybe 18 months ago. Um, they're from weekday, they're the weekday row jeans and this is shade summer blue and the bigger size I have I think is a waist 28 leg 32 and they are like a baggy oversized fit kind of like a low rise um, on me and I have now picked up my true size which is waist 26 and I got a leg 30 so they're a bit shorter um, and they're like a completely different fit. They're a really nice kind of like tight fitting straight leg jean. I was after a pair like this for so long and I love my other weekday ones. So I thought, why don't I just purchase them in a smaller size um, to get kind of like the desired fit I was after. Um, and I love these. I recommend them to so many people and everybody that's bought them has said, they're the perfect jeans so I can't recommend them enough they come in so many different colours as well if you don't like this shade of blue there will be something there that you do like I'm sure um, and they're a really reasonable price as well I think they're about £40 which I think is quite good for a pair of jeans but yeah if you are looking for a good pair of straight leg jeans I cannot recommend these enough these are my absolute favourites I now have a couple of pairs of shoes to show you first up are these little ballet pumps which I got from M&S and um, I like these, don't get me wrong, they're very cute, I got them in the all black, they also come in beige and black as well. Um, I got my normal size, which is a size 5, tried them on, they seemed quite comfy, um, they've got quite a nice like squidgy sole, nice soft leather. I had these on for I think about 10 minutes, I mean you can see the bottom of them looks hardly touched. I wore them for 10 minutes and... I swear to God, they have ruined my feet. The blisters that I have from these shoes, I don't know whether I should have got a bigger size or what, but when I first tried them on, they were really comfortable. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I started walking, just literally the back cutting into my feet. So painful. And I've seen so many people with these going, oh, they're so comfortable. I don't find them comfortable. Honestly, they were awful. Um, I was with Rachel and Holly in Winchester and I had to limp back to my car to go and get my Uggs to put on, which I'm about to show you. So much more comfortable. Um, I literally felt like throwing these in the bin. I was getting really, really frustrated with them. They were quite expensive. I think they were like £45, pounds, £40. Pounds, um, and they're just not comfortable. I don't think that they're the 
kind of shoe that you can break in either. Um, I've tried a couple of times, but because of the blisters that they've left already, it's so painful. I had compied on as well the other day when I tried to put these back on and it just wasn't working. So although I love them, I don't know if I'm actually ever going to be able to wear them because they are so uncomfortable. Um, I may try and get a size up, half a size up. Um, but I'm kind of just a bit put off now. But anyway, they are a cute shoe. Um, maybe just get them in a bigger size, I don't know. And now on to the comfy shoes. I purchased a pair of Uggs. Now, these are the Tasman Uggs, and it says on the website that they are slippers, but I've been wearing them as shoes. And they are like this. They're kind of like this slip-on style with this, like, crisscross kind of detailing around them um, and I love these I think they're so cute they look really really nice with jeans great with leggings um, I just yeah I love them I feel like these are going to sell out if they haven't already um, I couldn't believe that they were actually in stock when I purchased them but so comfy I've been wearing them without socks which I believe is the way you are supposed to wear Uggs and yeah they're just gorgeous they're like heaven when I put my feet into these I have a pair of the ultra mini Uggs in this colour and I have slippers in this colour as well and I love them all. I am trying to get my hands on the Ultra Mini Uggs in the antelope colour um, which I wanted last year. I actually ordered them last year, waited for ages for them to come in stock, ordered them on ASOS and then um, waited for them to be delivered and back when it was Hermes, not every, they lost the parcel so I never got them which was really frustrating and then obviously they gave me a refund but they were out of stock then and then I don't think they've actually come back into stock since so I am keeping my eye out for them but I absolutely love these Tasman ones I think they're gorgeous they would be great for slippers um but because they have such like a thick chunky sole I think they work really really nicely as like an outdoor shoe as well but I love them so super comfy and they also come I think with like a red detail and maybe like a platform but I'm not 100% sure on that I think I've seen someone in them but I just prefer this detailing um red is not really my color next up I have a piece from source unknown and it is this gorgeous kind of raw hemmed cropped blazer I have shown pieces from source unknown before a few times on my channel and I just love their items you can always find something different on there not like your average high street clothes um and yeah I love this blazer super cropped i think this is going to look so nice in the autumn winter very easy to style i'll be wearing this with some wide black leg trousers for an evening look or or black straight leg jeans and trainers for during the day it's just very different isn't it i love the raw hem on it really nice thick quality it's got like a shoulder bit of a shoulder pad as well so it's nice and structured i wear my oversized black blazer all the time so it'd be nice to alternate and have something a little bit different i then have a couple of coats to show you which is exciting because i am now starting to actually buy coats before it was just jackets now it's coats this one i'm sure you will have seen this doing the rounds on instagram um i showed this briefly in a vlog of mine i'm not sure if it's actually gone up yet and might be going up after um but this is from mango and this is such a gorgeous coat i posted this on my instagram and i said to you guys oh i love this um but i'm not sure whether to get it or not everyone was like yeah i love it get it and then i went to get it and it was sold out so i again this was something i had to wait for to come back into stock um and it sold out like crazy everybody went nuts for it so i'm very happy that i managed to get my hands on it I had to get a size medium because that was all that they had um, and it is oversized i could definitely have done with the small but it's not too big for me to like send it back or anything i'm just gonna make do it'll be really good for layering as well to have something a bit chunkier underneath it but i wore this yesterday for the first time and i absolutely love it i wore it with a pair of um leather trousers and loafers and yeah it just looked really nice it's such a cozy coat i love it it's such an amazing dupe of the totem me one totem me totem me someone did tell me how to say that and now i've completely forgotten probably butchered it but it's such a great dupe of that um this one was 100 pounds and the designer one is i think 1700 so there's no question really is there um but yeah absolutely love this and i know i'm going to be wearing it so so much coat number two was very kindly sent to me from Forth and Reckless and this is part of the Mimi collection that has just launched and I adore this. It's kind of like a dressing gown, it's such a snuggly coat, really nice long length, huge pockets in the front and it's got a belt as well so you can really cinch it in at the waist. 
but yeah i absolutely love this it's gorgeous i got it in a size 10 so it's a little bit oversized but i'm going to be wearing this so much throughout the winter like i said it's just like a dressing gown so i know that this is going to be the coat that i want to reach for and i want to be all snuggly i think it was styled on the website with a, like a gray suit underneath which i have here so i'll show you that in a second um but it's going to look so good with so many different things i feel like you could really dress it down casually with maybe like a jogger or a cashmere set underneath but also dress it up with like flared jeans and heel boots so I do love this coat and I love the colour of it as well. It's also really, really nice quality. And finally, a couple more sets from Fourth and Reckless from that Mimi collection. I have this beautiful plissé set. Um, it's really, really lovely because it's kind of like a beige and black stripe, um, but it just gives a really nice kind of effect, almost like a silvery shimmery effect. Um, so that is obviously the shirt and I got that in a UK size 10. And then the trousers are so lovely, really, really nice length. I got these in a UK 8 um, and a really nice shape as well. This is the perfect set for kind of like lounging around at home. But I also think this would look really nice dressed up as well, maybe with like loafers and a blazer or a leather jacket. But yeah, really love this. It's a little bit different. I didn't manage to get the cream one that they did over the summer, which was like a huge sellout. But this one is definitely more appropriate for this time of year. Um, I'm actually going on holiday um i'll be on holiday i think when this video goes live so this is definitely coming with me another set that i am taking on my holidays is this set again from the same collection um these gorgeous trousers with kind of like the exposed like folded down waist detail really really nice like charcoal gray they've got a front seam all the way down um they go into a, like a lovely kind of straight leg um, really nice length as well again i got these in a uk size 8 and then to go with them there's a matching corset which actually fits my boobs which is amazing um this is a size I got this in a size six yeah i got this in a uk six and yeah it fits really really nice it also has this like sticky um on the front which kind of like helps it hold it up a bit but these two together look so lovely and i can't wait to wear them on holiday but also i feel like with a nice gray blazer as well um, and some trainers it's going to look perfect for the autumn and also i'm going to wear these two underneath that lovely polar bear coat that i've got as well so i think that is everything that i have to show you let me know what you think of that monica vintage jewelry as well because i am so obsessed with it i think it's beautiful don't forget you can also use my code amybeth20 for 20 percent off the website everything that i've shown you will be linked down below hopefully everything is still in stock for you i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did it would be amazing if you could give it a like and if you're new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye